Grand Central is an open access operator of train services in the United Kingdom, owned by Arriva UK Trains. It has operated passenger rail services on the East Coast Main Line from Sunderland to London King's Cross since December 2007, and from Bradford Interchange to London King's Cross since May 2010. History The origins of Grand Central can be traced back to the privatisation of British Rail, when bids were lodged for the Midland Main Line and Regional Railways North East franchises by Ian Yoert and a consortium of ex-British Rail managers under the Grand Central name. The company was dissolved in March 1998. In April 2000, a new company, Grand Central Railway Company Limited, was founded to pursue open access opportunities. In 2003, Grand Central applied to the Office of Rail Regulation to operate a two hourly open access service from Newcastle via the Caldervale Line and Manchester Victoria to Bolton using ex Virgin Cross Country Intercity 100. 125 trains. The application was rejected in June 2004. Coach operator Fraser Eagle Group purchased a 79% shareholding in Grand Central in 2004. In February 2005, Grand Central applied to the Office of Rail Regulation to operate four daily services from Sunderland to London King's Cross and four daily services from Bradford Interchange to London King's Cross using. Class 67 locomotives hauling five Mark III carriages and a driving van trailer. In March 2006 the Office of Rail Regulation granted Grand Central access rights for three daily Sunderland to London King's Cross services. After failing at an Office of Rail Regulation hearing to have the process reversed, GNER sought a judicial review of the decision to grant Grand Central access rights but was rejected by the High Court in July 2006. Fraser Eagle sold its 79% shareholding in Grand Central in March 2007 to two former managers of Prism Rail, backed by a private equity group. Operations were due to start in May 2007, but delays in procuring and then refurbishing rolling stock delayed this. Operations began on the 18th of December 2007 between Sunderland and London King's Cross. While awaiting delivery of all of the rolling stock, initially only one Sunderland, King's Cross and one York, King's Cross service operated in each direction. The full timetable was introduced in March 2008. Mechanical problems with the Intercity 125s led to services being regularly cancelled, resulting in a reduced service being operated from May until July 2008. In March 2008, Grand Central applied to the Office of Rail Regulation to operate three daily services from Bradford Interchange to London King's Cross. In January 2009 Grand Central was granted access rights for three daily Bradford Interchange to London King's Cross services until December 2014 and a fourth Sunderland to London King's Cross service until May 2012. In August 2009, the fourth daily Sunderland London service started. The Office of Rail Regulation announced in February 2010 that all access rights had been extended until December 2016. On the 23rd of May 2010, Grand Central services between Bradford Interchange and London King's Cross began. It was hoped that the service would start in December 2009, but difficulties in securing rolling stock caused delay. In November 2011, Grand Central was bought out by Arriva UK Trains. 
At the time of the takeover, Grand Central had 123 employees, a turnover of £18.9 million and debts of £44 million. From December 2011, Bradford Services made an additional stop at Mirfield. In December 2012, a fifth service on the Sunderland to London route, however, due to pathing difficulties, it initially commenced at Hartlepool. In December 2013, a fourth daily Bradford to London King's Cross service commenced. In August 2014, Grand Central was granted an extension of its operating rights until December 2026. Topic: <laughs> Routes and services. Topic. Current services Grand Central connects Yorkshire and the North East to London with two routes. Five daily services on the North East to London route run between Sunderland and London King's Cross calling at Hartlepool, Eaglescliff, North Allerton, Thirsk and York. This route is known as the North Eastern Service. Grand Central has in the past given names to two trains on this route. Contrary to tradition in British named train services, these were individual one-way trips rather than pairs. In the 2008 timetable, the name The Zephyr was given to the early morning 641 departure from Sunderland, while the evening 1650 train from London was called the 21st Century Limited. As of the 2012 timetable, these names are no longer used by the company. Four daily services which run on the Yorkshire to London route operate between Bradford Interchange and London King's Cross calling at Low Moor, Halifax, Brighouse, Mirfield, Wakefield Kirkgate, and Doncaster. Some services also call at Pontefract Monkhill. This is known as the West Riding or West Yorkshire service. Topic. Proposed services Topic. London King's Cross to Cleethorpes In December 2017, Grand Central announced plans to bid for a service from London King's Cross to Cleethorpes in early 2018 for a date of 2020. It would involve the existing Bradford Interchange service extended to 10 coaches from London to Doncaster then dividing with 5 coaches going to Cleethorpes via Scunthorpe, Barnetby, Haborow and Grimsby. The other 5 coaches would be the existing service to Bradford Interchange. This proposal would require permission for a split of trains as it has not been used on the East Coast Main Line before. In February 2018, Grand Central announced plans for an additional call at Crowley. It plans to operate four trains per day from 2020. Topic. Extra Bradford and Sunderland services In March 2018, Grand Central announced that it had applied for six services from London to Sunderland, up from five now, and six services from London to Bradford Interchange which would use Adelante trains. Topic. York to London King's Cross In May 2018, Grand Central announced plans to add an additional evening service before 10 p.m. between York to London. This service would be 10 carriages long. 
Topic Wakefield Kirkgate to London King's Cross Grand Central applied for an additional early morning service and an evening services from London to Wakefield which was lodged to the Office of Rail and Road but was rejected because it did not meet the economic criteria. However in May 2018, Grand Central reapplied for the service this would see one train per day in each direction between London King's Cross and Wakefield, one in the morning and one in the evening. <laughs> Peterborough Grand Central also proposed an additional stop at Peterborough but this was rejected. This would see four services per day call here and Sunderland to London King's Cross would provide this service. In May 2018, Grand Central reapplied for the service. <laughs> Formerly proposed services. Grand Central also previously expressed interest in operating other services. <laughs> York to Chester In February 2005, Grand Central lodged an application with the Office of Rail Regulation to operate a three times a day York to Chester via the Caldervale Line service with Class 158s. This service would have called at Leeds, Wakefield Kirkgate, Brighouse, Rochdale, Manchester Victoria, and Warrington Bank Quay. Topic. Bradford Interchange to London Euston In September 2006 Grand Central announced a proposal to run services from Bradford Interchange via Huddersfield and the West Coast Main Line to London Euston. This service would have called at Halifax, Brighouse, Huddersfield, Stollybridge, Guide Bridge, Stockport, Crewe, Lichfield Trent Valley, Tamworth and Nuneaton. The proposal was dropped due to Virgin Trains' moderation of competition protection preventing any other operators from operating on the West Coast Main Line. Lincoln to London King's Cross In June 2010 following East Coast deciding not to proceed with plans for a proposed two-hourly service between Lincoln and London King's Cross, Grand Central expressed an interest in running services, but was rejected. This service would have called at Newark North Gate and Grantham. Topic Blackpool North to London Euston In November 2010 Grand Central applied to the Office of Rail Regulation to operate a new service running four times a day in each direction, between Blackpool North and London Euston via the West Coast Main Line calling at powelton le -Fylde, Kirkham and Wesham, Preston, Hartford, Tamworth and Nuneaton. Grand Central sought to run these services from May 2012, using Class 67 locomotives hauling nine Mark III carriages and a driving van trailer running at up to 110 miles per hour (177 kilometers per hour) until such time as the Blackpool North Preston line was electrified. In March 2011 the Office of Rail Regulation rejected the application on the basis the service would be primarily abstractive, meaning it would generate most of its revenue by drawing custom away from existing operators rather than bringing new custom to the rail network. Topic rolling Stock Grand Central's application to the Office of Rail Regulation in February 2005 had proposed using Class 67 locomotives hauling five Mark III carriages and a driving van trailer. 
as the paths were only granted on the basis of 125 miles per hour stock being used, other stock had to be sourced. It was then proposed to use a fleet of Bombardier Transportation 5 Carriage Class 222s, similar to those already in use with Midland Main Line and Hull trains. Difficulty in securing these led to Grand Central deciding to use high speed trains. In October 2006, sister company Sovereign Trains purchased six Class 43 power cars and 24 Mark III trailer vehicles from Porterbrook. The Class 43s, that all had buffers fitted when they were modified in the late 1980s for use with the Class 91 locomotives during the electrification of the East Coast Main Line, were sent for overhaul at DML, Plymouth. The Mark III's were overhauled at Marcroft Engineering, Stoke-on-Trent. Eighteen of the Mark III's were former Virgin Trains West Coast Loco hauled carriages that required rewiring in order to work with the power cars due to different electrical requirements. Due to delays encountered during the overhauls, Grand Central investigated leasing spare intercity 125s from Midland Mainline. However nothing came of this and it was not until December 2007 that enough stock had been delivered for operations to commence. The full fleet was in service by March 2008. Problems encountered with the rolling stock with at one stage all six power cars out of traffic, saw Grand Central hire Class 67s from English Welsh and Scottish, Class 47s from Riviera Trains and Class 57s from Virgin Trains to haul Riviera Trains Mark II carriages on shuttles from Sunderland to York in summer 2008 as well as intercity power cars from Midland Main Line. In March 2010 the Intercity 125s were sold to Angel Trains which funded an overhaul including repowering the Class 43s at brush traction with MTU 16 V4000 R41 engines. To operate the 4th Sunderland service two Class 180s were leased from Angel Trains in 2009 followed in 2010 by another three to operate the Brad Bradford services. Before entering service, 180,112 was named James Harriet in July 2009. The remaining two units, 180,105 and 180,114, entered service later in 2009. Grand Central secured two further Class 180s, 180,101 and 180,107, bringing the total number to five. The Class 180 fleet operate both Sunderland and Bradford services, with the Intercity 125 trains usually only operating services to Sunderland, although they have operated to Bradford on occasions. Initially, Grand Central adopted an all black livery with doors painted gold first class and silver standard class. When the 180s were introduced and Orange Band was introduced, Grand Central withdrew its HST fleet at the end of 2017, with a transfer to East Midlands trains for the three six-car sets. The company received four Class 180 Adelante sets from GWR, made available due to the rollout of the Intercity Express program. Topic. Current fleet Topic. Past fleet Topic. Depots Grand Central's fleet is maintained at Heaton and Crofton depots. 
Between the 2011 Arriva takeover and the fleet's retirement in 2017, heavy maintenance on the Intercity 125 was performed at Arriva Traincare, Crew, 